with what's going on YouTubers. It's the Natural Born Thriller. And welcome everyone to WWE NXT UK Review, the show from February 6th, 2019. They were in Blackpool, England. Your commenters are Vic Joseph and Nigel McGinnis. So let's get right into it, folks. The match opened up with Mark Andrews versus Lee Gero. And the match where I thought it was pretty solid. Um, no, actually, well, I, thought it was, I thought it was decent. I thought it was pre a pretty good, decent match between these two. And in the end, Lee Gero ends up getting the win over Mark Andrews. After the match, Lee Gero um, and Mark Andrews uh, shook hands, showing some sportsmanship. And there you go. So yeah, Aligiro, he's getting um, this big push as a singles wrestler in, in NXT UK, you know, which rightly so, you know, he's very talented, he's very good. And we'll be seeing uh, what, what, uh, what what leads to him uh, in, in the future uh, for NXT UK. Uh, next we get to 1 and 2, talking about, you know, they're going to get an opportunity for the NXT UK Tag Team Championship at Phoenix. Um, you know, we're, we're to, um, facing the champions, um, uh, James Drake and Zap Gibson. Which I am looking forward to, folks. Um, I'm looking forward to NXT UK going to uh, Phoenix, you know, outside of of um, of of, Eng of England, you know, or you know, going overseas to America, basically. So I can't wait to see that. Uh, then we get to uh, Ramsey. He interviews Pete Dunne, talking about uh, seeing Walter's in-ring debut. Basically, uh, talks about how pretty good he is, and talks about uh, if 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 there's um any chance that uh, Walter uh, gets in the ring with Pete Dunne. Uh, Pete Dunne will will, show, will uh will not be uh intimidated by him. He not he not he not be he, he's not gonna fear him. He's gonna uh he's go he's gonna come at him. You know, basically um uh, basically saying uh wherever down the line he uh Walter gets a title shot against Pete Dunne, you know the uh the WWE United Kingdom Championship. Pete Dunne is gonna show him why he is uh, the, the the longest reigning the WWE United Kingdom champion. And there you go. On this match we get to Kenny Floss versus. Uh, Saya Brookside, and match itself was pretty. Was, I thought I thought it was pretty decent between these two. These two uh, were showing some, um, you know, uh, showing some friendly competition, and also Kenny Fl Frost, F Floss, Kenny Floss was um, showing some uh, mean streak there uh, to uh, Saya, Saya Brookside, and then uh, in the end, Saya Brookside gets the um, you know the upper hand, uh, you know after um, you know finally um, gaining some upper hand. Uh, you know, Kenny Kenny Floss was showing. Was showing um, was showing uh uh Sia Lee uh, I mean Sia, Sia, uh Brookside I meant to say excuse me, um that she can wrestle and she could um she could show uh some some um some aggressive aggressive side of her, not not it's not just uh it's not all just about um uh being uh sweet and all that you know you know you know being um sugar spice and everything nice just saying, uh so in the end uh Sia Brookside gets the gets the win. Um, I can't remember what was, well the name of her uh, finishing move. Basically, it's, it's, the same, it's the same finishing move that um her father did, Rob, Robbie uh, Brookside, from the, from the top from the uh, from the top rope grabbing um the opponent and slamming them down from the pin. Um, but yeah, she got the win over that um, because of that after the match we get a uh, sportsmanship uh, between uh, uh Sarah Brookside and Ken Kenny uh Kenny Floss, and all of a sudden, Rhea Ripley attacks both of them. <laughs> Uh, and then Tony Strong comes in for the save, or attempted for the save, but then, uh, Rhea Ripley, uh, got an answer for that one. Tony Strong got, went for a headbutt to Rhea Ripley, but then got out of the way, and then, uh, got, um, you know, Sia Brookside get, um, getting, um, the, the, uh, the tail end of that, uh, headbutt by Tony Storm. And then Rhea Ripley, uh, takes out Tony Storm and gets her the, the ripcord. I mean, I mean, not, not the ripcord, the riptie, I meant to say, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, um, basically Rhea Ripley is, um, is sending a statement and and she's um she wants to be the, on the NXT UK Women's Champion again, and that, and that and that match is already been set up anyways between the, um Rhea Ripley and Natasha against Tony Storm, for, uh, where it's going, to, it's going to take place at Phoenix. So can wait to see how that turns out. Uh, hopefully it'll be, it'll be better than the match they had at, at Takeover. I'm assuming it will be better than, than the match they had at Takeover. Um, you know, at, from Blackpool. Um, not, not saying the match was bad. It was, it just uh, it, it it could have been way better to, at, at the time, but I think it will be better um that uh for the third time around between these two. We get Jordan Devlin. He cuts a promo about you know being um part of NXT UK. Uh, you know how, how he's he's dominated on NXT you know, UK and all that, and just while uh he can't wait to go to Phoenix, as he goes he's 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 going to be going up against Norman Dar, and he says uh you know what pertains to that. You know, 
never ever uh, bet against the ace. That's uh, his whole his whole thing, you know, his catchphrase. Um, well, yeah, basically, uh, he's gonna show he's gonna show uh, Norman Dar uh, why you should never ever bet against the ace. Unless we get to uh, the wild board, Mike Hansman versus uh, Joseph Connors. Match itself, I thought it was solid. Um, I'm still trying to get um, try try to get more into uh, Joseph Connors, and he and he he won me over a little bit. Uh, I I still want to see more of him, and uh, yeah, uh, let's say about that. But yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, but Joseph Connors doesn't win the match though. Um, and and that's not, not much to say about that. Uh, let's forget to Gallus. They talk about uh, Walter. You know, uh, as you know, as uh, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey were warming up for the ma- uh, for the match that that they're um having. Uh, but yeah, they talk, they talk, they talk about Walter. Just, just, they talk about Pete Dunne, and, and they talk about you know it doesn't matter if Pete Dunne is to, is to the champion, it's still their kingdom. You know, everything everything is still theirs and all that. So that's that's that was the um the promo while they were warming up. Um, then we get to Jenny's um ho- uh, video package highlights. About her uh, her dominance in the, in the you know, of in, in NXT UK and she's also cutting a promo as she's um it, it basically being an interview uh in that in that in, in those highlight videos uh about herself and everything about she's dumb, how dumb she is. Also, we get to Ramsey uh, interviewing uh Jenny and Jenny basically talks down on Ramsey's looks <laughs> and talks about how you know she's been winning matches and, and she's like, "What do you expect me to do, lose?" And and she's she's very, she's a very good talker too, by the way. And she, uh, she's very confident. Conti- she's very confident. Conti- confident, uh, you know, you got to, you got, you got to be confident to, uh, uh, to back up everything, uh, and and she's shown how ar- arrogant she can be too, as well. And she talks about, you know, her, uh, you know, she wants uh, to go up against Tony Storm, and talk about how it's, it, you know, she's sick and tired of hearing it's Tony's time. No, it's it's Jenny's time. And she says she's going to show, um, Tony Storm when when she, whenever she gets the opportunity, who's the real queen of NXT UK. Uh, and, the, and the real and the, and the real queen of NXT UK, uh, uh, is crowned um, when, when when her moment comes. Basically, she's saying, well, uh, when she gets the opportunity, she's gonna uh, be she's gonna be one crowned as the new NXT UK Women's Champion. Good promo, though. Uh, next, we get to Joe Coffey. Uh, he was lead. Uh, he was lead to the ring by. Uh, Gallus, which is uh, Wolfgang and Mark Coffey, and then they also they left. Uh, as Joe Coffey goes up against uh, Ashton Smith, so the match happens, and eh, it was it was alright. It wasn't into that much, but Joe Coffey also won the match. After them, uh, basically Joe, Joe Coffey um, dominated the match too. So after the match, uh, we get Mark Coffey, uh, who who lead by Wolfgang, and as as Wolfgang's uh, being led to the ring. Uh, uh, Joel Coffey and uh, I'm I'm sorry, Mark Coffey was le- was le- was led to the ring. My my apologies, not Wolfgang. Wolfgang and Joel Coffey left a- after they led um Mark Coffey into the ring. As Mark Coffey gets ready for his main event match against Walter, and this match uh it was back and forth. Mark Coffey was showing um he he go um go up against uh Walter. Walter was having trouble of um uh, at one point uh, against Mark Coffey. But uh, but at the same time we have also Mark Coffey uh, had a little trouble against Walter in the, in the match too. Uh, basically showing uh, these two guys uh you know uh, um their uh, their their different type of strength uh against against one another, and then in the end Walter gets to win over Mark Coffey. So yeah, Walter uh two and and next to UK, still showing um his dominance, and, and yeah, beat Peter. He's got to watch out for for Walter. So my question is now after this, when is Walter going to face Joe Coffey? That's what I'm wondering. I want I want to see that match to see how, how that turns out, because Joe Coffey still wants to get pay, a payback to Walter after uh, Walter embarrassed him from that from that closing uh, um, show from Takeover Blackpool. So I'm I'm looking for <clears throat> excuse me I'm looking forward to see how that how when that match is going to come out. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. So yeah, there you go. That was the match, and 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 also the show. Uh, Tomorrow wrestling for NXT UK from February 6, 2019. Excuse me. I think five matches, right? Yeah, five matches. Wow, I can remember the last time uh, NXT UK uh, did five matches. But yeah, five matches uh, took place here. Um, and my overall strength for the show, 
I'm gonna go seven and a half out of ten. So that being said, folks, thank you all for watching. It's the Natural Born Driller saying peace on the streets.